welcome to idbi capital morning podcast good morning everyone and welcome to idbi capital markets morning podcast where we share our views for nifty bank nifty and also some sector specific highlights uh, first of all on the rollover uh, positions what we have seen is that you know nifty has uh, did good amount of rollovers and rollovers were in line for nifty uh, if you see uh, uh, what has happened yesterday is when the rollovers were taking place uh, at which is at 66% uh, the premium for uh, the next 10 the uh, near the next series has almost uh, been uh, the same that means that you know the current future is trading uh, that is the may future trading at 16,013 uh, 16, while as uh, june future trading at 16,012 which indicates that you know there would have been a lot of uh, shorts which would have rolled over their positions yesterday and which has bought uh, that premium into the discount and overall if we see then uh, also in the open interest front if we see for uh, the uh, June futures you have added almost around uh, 2 lakh uh, uh, 40,000 shares and uh, uh, so for the current month you have reduced around uh, 1.45 lakh shares so that is where also uh, we have seen that you know overall um, additional positions have been added in the next month on the short side and a similar uh, rollover uh, was witnessed in bank nifty also uh, rollovers has improved to 60% which is also in line with its three months averages uh, but uh, the overall premium for the futures uh, going forward has reduced uh, significantly to only 70 points. So that is both indicating that you know there might be possibility of uh, good amount of short rollovers in Nifty and few short rollovers happening in Bank Nifty also. Uh, it would be interesting to see today how uh, it goes in and uh, being an expiry week if you look at the option setup it clearly suggests that you know we may not go beyond 16,200 and at the lower end at max it would be at around. 16,000 or 15,900. So we expect 16,100 is somewhere the expiry to come in. Uh, sector specifically, we have seen uh, sharp rollovers uh, on the uh, long side in auto and FMCG. So that two sectors can be washed out for. Also, if you look at the FI and DII data, that still remains uh, the same for the entire month. FI is a seller worth 1,803 crores, while DII is worth 2,230 crores. In the future segment also, index features they have bought worth 1,158 crores, indicating some amount of short covering. While the stock features they have bought worth 164 crores. So overall, we still feel that you know expiry may be at around 16,100, and we may stay in this consolidative range for at least you know next uh, seven to eight trading sessions. As a standard disclosure, investments are subject to market risk, so please read the offer document carefully before investing. And thank you for listening.